Go yo yeah, yo, he came home. I'm who you want and you know a little bitch cause I'm he. Hey, I'm for you and you for me. Hey. Right. Music, he, he, he put he going back in on his music trying to he figure this out. Like, what do you think about Go Ye? What he dropped, the interview like he did it. with Sean Cotton. Now nah, he did the interview good, but then he came back and went backwards. Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. Yeah, we going to talk. Do you, I mean, when you look at these the, the different impoverished neighborhoods throughout the city, um, how much no, does it affect you like when you see uh, even the re, re, the uh, the different places where they trying to regentrify and all kind of stuff like what do you see far as when you look at Dallas and how you could be a part of helping to reestablish some of these neighborhoods yeah I, I like it I like 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 the North Dallas the North Dallas uh, area they need to drop out they need to turn down all them apartments wow you talking about like I don't know the name of it no more. Like it's, it's like yeah. it used to be the Indigos. Yeah. I remember the Indigos. Yeah, Indigo. it, it, That's crazy, right? The Indigos were big in the market. <laughs> it was big when yeah. I, used to, I used to live there. Oh, you did? Yeah, I was younger. I used to live there. It was, yeah. it was nice when I was there. Yeah. <laughs> now, I spent like a lot of whole houses in the Indigos. <laughs> when I was homeless, oh my God. <laughs> Every part of Dallas, I stayed. I don't spend the night with some low income tax houses. Well, so you think that area over there? How do you think? What do you think? It used to be real nice. It used to be a lot nicer. Uh. You go over across forest, you know, forest and all that, to, you know, all that stuff. Nah, it's cool. Uh, yeah, the most dangerous neighborhood in Dallas right now is 6'5". Six, 6'4", five. Six, four right there. Where? Pleasant Grove. The Grove. Masters and Lake John. Them, 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 man, them young niggas over there. How do you know? You ain't out there no more. You just know, just read if somebody the papers. Yeah. Uh, there ain't no way I got no papers. Pleasant no Grove. He's ready to papers. Pleasant Grove and Fort Worth kids or violence. Like straight up. Fort Worth, six, 16 through 22 year old or the dumbest motherfuckers you'll come across. They kill it. They kill it. They wow. ain't got no remorse at all. Fort Worth little niggas is killing. That's all they know is to kill. And shoot. He said Fort Worth. Go yeah yo, he came home. Hey, hey, I'm who you want and you know a little bitch cause I'm he. Hey, I'm for you and you for me. Hey. Right. Music, he, he he put he going back in on his music, trying to he figure this out. Like what do you think about Go Ye, what he dropped, the interview like he did it. with Sean Cotton. Nah, he did the interview good, but then he came back and went backwards. What he, what do you mean? He gotta spit some knowledge in them damn talk about some in them damn Song. He better be glad Mo three. You and Bruce are saying yeah, the same thing. He, he better be glad Mo. They're yeah. right. Yeah, you got to be talking about something. But don't y'all think it's fair? He didn't write when he was locked up. Across. And I don't know him. I, I don't know him. Yeah, yeah. But I'm just saying, from what Sean told me, he pretty much didn't write. And he basically, now he's trying to figure it out now as no, he's going. No, no he's going because he made the. Uh, then, uh, then, uh, then uh, did. Like, he, he kind of switched it up. But that first two songs, I think he had in his head, like, they want that gangster shit from me. So you so so switch it. If three would have got out with the jail, he'll be talking about how he would have made a song how bad he missed his kids and mama. He's bad to be back on the streets, and the whole world have been singing it. That's hard. You understand know what I'm saying? No, that's hard. But he came back with some slack slack shit and all kind of shit and just like, like like we know you gangster, but at the end of the day, at the end of the day, where you just came from, where you just came from. They want to hear about the stories in there. Tell us about, let us talk, let us hear about the, we don't want to hear about the gangster shit. You know what I'm saying? Let us hear about the, the, the let us hear about the, nigga, your, your silly. Your, you know what I'm saying? Them people die, the people dying while you was in, while, while you was in prison. You know what I'm saying? That'll be a hard, yeah, pe yeah a segue. People, people mama dying. Tell about that silly that, that, that they ain't getting out. About his story that somebody snitched on ain't getting out. We need to, they need to hear some knowledge. You and him don't have a relationship of no sort. Nah. But but I think I, I agree with you. Yeah. I agree with that what you're saying. Yeah, it's some knowledge in the situation that you, people did you agree with that? Like to, to tell that real story of what yeah. was going on. People love to hear that. Yeah, they do. Yeah. They want to sit back and hear so what happened. You spent you did more time than a lot of rappers that here in Dallas. So we wanna hear what happened. Like Twist the Black. We wanna hear them Twist the Black. Let me tell you, that's my I fuck with Twist the Black. You might catch me rolling black Porsche. I ain't trying to hide I'm coming from me suicide. That's your boy now, huh? But yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, I'm a dicky boy. Four words in my DNA. Swear to God, I got a swag that can't compete with this bullet war. But Twist the Black still ain't told us the jailhouse stories. I think he gonna tell them though. It's too, yeah, but you waiting too late. 
It's anticipation of when you got out. We want to know what happened. You should be you 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 should be putting the alley hoop to this person that was crying, couldn't get out. This person that was this and this person. We got We need to hear. That's the that that's that's the difference from 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 a lot of people. Mm. You know what I'm saying? Go yeah, yo. Go. I'm I'm telling you. A lot of people waiting. You you made statements on here before he came out. You were like, I think everything gonna be cool and go. Yeah, nah, he, come on. I remember a, you said that. But he, since he came home, he's evolved into a grown man. Because I heard him say, "I be with my badass kids. I be with my kids." You know, uh, uh, he evolved into a, a grown man. The worst thing people. The worst thing. Yeah. So you know, at the end of the day, uh, uh, I think when he got out, he realized, you know. He, 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 he trying to be grown, so I think it's coming. I told I told Bugatti yesterday. I talked to Bugatti all the time. Uh, you gotta be prepared. You know what I'm saying? When you get out, ain't nobody care about that gang shit. I told him he need to sign a rapper. Wow. I I think I think you 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 keep saying the same thing about them getting to sign rappers and after their career seem to be you know pretty much. I guess where they've already done a lot of the stuff they can do, mm -hmm. um, but a lot of people still looking for that big song. They never got that outside. They never got that ice cream paint job. They never got it. It's still a lot of artists that have never got it. You know what I mean? Yeah, no. But sure. uh, everybody not gonna be like Big X the Plug. They can make Big X the Plug be jamming. He's a jamming artist. He can say he be if you put his music on the the way it's hitting the snap the boom you know everybody gonna keep listening to it over and over I do it listen to it over and over again just let it roll just went by the watch with a whole lot of diamonds to show how these niggas it's my time took a trip out to Cali to hang with the cliff make a play and get you know what I mean everybody don't have that that's what make him different for me you know what I mean when I went to the barbershop the other day, they, they, I put and that I like, big extra plug on, and it just started yeah. going, and we just we just started jamming that whole thing. It just I, you it can jam so long you don't even know it's playing. Hey, these diamonds they shining, came from Johnny. It ain't never been too hard to find me. I just ice got. Yeah, uh, I, you I, do you yeah. understand what I'm saying? Yeah, everybody don't have that, bro. Yeah, I like I like big ass. Uh, I'm a so I I, I I I just been riding around listening to four bats lately. I come and slap by eight p.m. Send a text to your DM. Man, I don't even one know. song? Mm -hmm. No, he got a couple of them. Yeah, a couple of them. But listen, Fobet just came up out of nowhere. Did you know him before mm, then? Mm, mm. Listen, though. Didn't he sign the Drake? Where is the video? I don't think he signed yet. I think he signed the Drake. Yeah, he signed the Drake. Where is the video? He ain't do now. He don't have to. Drake don't have to? None of them don't have to. When you, you good. But it's a different way they doing it. Don't you think sometimes it's something new? It's time to do it a different way? Why do niggas have to do it the same way? I remember when Beyonce just dropped that album. Like she just did. Just dropped that album. She just dropped. Don't tell nobody nothing. She the first one I seen really doing that and making impact. Did it go number one? Hell yeah. That's Beyonce. <laughs> Four bats came out of nowhere and boom, that hoe went up. Yeah, yeah, nah, nah. He did his thing, but shit. Uh... Mm-hmm. I think for bad to, I th you think he'll be all right? You think he's gonna be all longevity? They better be glad they ain't my orders. Why? Because the world know the world would have known. I wanna see what he do. I wanna see can he pack out pack out the, the show in Dallas. I don't know if he can. Nobody they don't really know it. But they yeah, yeah, hell yeah, he can. Yeah, you got some. Yeah, he can. He you can. Got, you got, you got, got something song with Drake. You got something with Drake. I have billboards all around around this motherfucker. If Rainwater had a song artist by Drake, you would know just by my interviews. I have billboards everywhere around this bitch. Nigga, nigga, er, nigga, I have trains wrapped. Nigga, I have, nigga, his whole hood be posters everywhere. Yeah, we're gonna make him the king fast. We got to, we, we ain't got that much time. We got, nigga, he just did a song with Drake. We got 48 hours to make an impact on Dallas. <sighs> Yeah, we on Boss Talk 101. 101. Yeah, we gon' talk.